Hi, I'm Carl Cowley and I'm going to show you one of our Calacious Designs products today. This one is the Calacious Audio Recorder Player Board. Typically comes in a package like this. And this one has a 120 chip attached to it. So when you get it and you open it up, you'll notice that inside are two different things. One is the board, the other is the trigger cable that's included with that and then we have the chip. Okay, on this board I want to show you a couple of things before we set it up. First off uh, there's several connections around the board. You have a microphone jack here with positive and negative shown, a speaker jack here or header uh, to connect a small speaker. The speaker doesn't work as well as amplified speakers that we'll look at later. We've got a line in jack for feeding audio into it, a line out jack that's designed for amplified computer speakers. We have a volume button, play button, record button, erase button, and forward button. Up here we have a three pin header to attach a motion sensor. Um, we have a two pin header to select the multi message mode a two pin header to select the dual message mode, uh, the two pin trigger header, and a two pin voltage level trigger header called V-Trig. And with that you can select what voltage you want it to trigger off of, whether it's 120 volts, 24 volts, 9 to 12 volts, or 5 volts, and that's AC or DC. Down here we have a microphone or line in header um, with the red shorting jumper on those two pins. It's set to be used in the line in mode. If I remove that two pin, if I remove that shorting jumper, then that makes it work with the microphone. And right below that we have the shorting jumper for the sound quality, which is set for 12 kilohertz, which is the best sound quality that this chip can do. Then we have 8 kilohertz, 6 kilohertz, and 4 kilohertz. Every time you switch the speed, the lower the kilohertz, um, the lower the quality of sound, but the more time you have to record with. Um, so during this demonstration, we're going to leave it at the 12 kilohertz setting because that's the best. We're going to go ahead and put, I'm going to go ahead and put the chip in the board. 